today I'm doing a quick review on the Subcase, which is the only tough case that it's available on Amazon Europe currently for the iPad Pro 2015-2017 models. So this is the inside of the case and it is very well made. It is very well padded and it is why it weighs so much. In the back you have a very simple stand. And the buttons feels very responsive. You have a little latch that protects the headphone jack and also the lightning port, which I will remove because it's just it just gets in the way. Then you have the hard plastic frame that fits in the front of your iPad. Here you can see that I have removed the plastic cover on it and you will see later why. And the plastic is not easily scratched, which is always good. I really like it, but I only have two beef with it. First one is it's really heavy. It adds about 500 grams, which almost doubles the weight of the whole setup because I think the iPad is about 600 to 700 grams. I'll put the exact numbers on the screen here, but it really adds a lot of weight. But, but listen to this. It really does a good job on absorbing the shocks. And my second beef is the screen protector on it. It is plastic, it is terrible. I can actually see different colors patterns when I look at it from the side. And reflects the light so much. Like terrible, it looks like a mirror. Because the iPad Pro actually has an amazing coating that prevents it from reflecting the light. It absorbs the light so well. So I'm gonna show you right away what it looks like without the screen protector. And because of the frame of the case, you cannot add another screen protector on it unless you can find one that is much smaller. Unfortunately, I cannot find these. So if you know of a screen protector that is this size, let me know in the comments below because I really need it because I will take this thing off. I'm gonna cut it off with, uh, with scissors or something because uh, this is just not, this is not acceptable. And uh, another thing to note is it really is tough to take it on and off. Some people have said that it has scratched their iPad and I will believe them because it is a bit tough. But let's see. Let's see. Oh, there's. So it comes in two pieces. The bottom one, the shockproof one, and the front element like such. And this is the heavy part of the case. But it really has amazing, amazing, amazing absorbance. Shock absorbent. As you can hear, even the corners without the massive case have another protection. So it really combines the toughness of the hard plastic with the very soft and absorbing silicone. Now taking it off is, I would call a bit of a pain and uh, I wish that it wasn't that hard. I'm actually scared of breaking the frame around it. You have to be gentle and patient. There we go. And as you can see, it's just very terrible plastic. It bends and um, it doesn't really sit flush on the screen protector. So I'm definitely going to take it off. And it's just glued onto here. So I'm going to see if I want to rip it off or just cut it off. The audio was terrible, but what I explained here is that the second you remove the plastic screen protector, you can see the full potential of the iPad Pro and it is amazing at absorbing reflection, especially if the iPad is on. You can see here with the iPad mini next to it, it is much more reflecting. And if you have to use the iPad Pro outdoor, it will be amazing compared to an iPad mini too. My iPhone 10 has a glass protector on it and it shows because it really reflects the light and does not absorb it very well. So this is the frame without it and also and also you can see that it has tiny tiny little scratches so this plastic is definitely not ideal for protecting the screen it just looks messy and before i put this back on because it is a bit tough to clip it on and off i will i will show you what it looks like on a traditional case and when you buy a case like that make sure that it has a velvety lining inside because otherwise it will just scratch the back of your 
iPad because the dirt will set behind the LCD. So this is a much easier setup and there you go. So this is the other case. It doesn't turn the iPad into a monster iPad like the other one does and it's fairly thin as well, which is nice. And obviously you can put the pencil here, which I kind of need. So I feel like this will be my everyday case. And if I ever have to travel, I'll put on the tough case. If I can find the protective LCD that fits the small frame that this case has. So I actually don't know if I want to put it back in. I, I do like this case, but it's such a, such a massive case without an, a screen protector right now. So I think I'm, I'm gonna stick with this one. And uh, this one was about 22 euros, I think, and I'll put a price on this one. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you love me like I love you, please hit the like button and I will be forever thankful.